hermit crabs have soft, unprotected abdomens they protect by moving into some other creature's cast-off shell. When natural seashells aren't available, however, they'll crabbily move into some uncouth human's cast-off trash. Hermit crabs will use tin cans, plastic bottles and all kinds of possibilities to hide their softer parts. It seemed as if it was a hollow container with the right size a hermit crab would use it. This scenario are probably more and more common because of all the rubble drifting into shore. The crabs just use the material available to hide their softer body parts. If the normal shells they are accustomed to use ISN back quote tea there they would use empty cans cups and all kind of containers with the right size. One species discarded childhood toy is another species treasure, a hermit crab on the beach in Puerto Rico has moved into a large Lego piece. It's an innovative solution to a perpetual problem for the crustacean. Hermit crabs can't grow their own shells and they rely on snails going belly up so they can steal their homes. Unless humans steal them first. And as hermit crabs grow up they are under constant pressure to find a new home that's more spacious but not too spacious and hopefully not too brittle. To deal with the low vacancy situation, hermit crabs have been spotted cooperating to shell swap by size and, in a pinch, shacking up in bottle caps. Some humans are stepping in to make sure that crabs have well-to-do living arrangements. They're sticking their butts into bottles, they're sticking their butts into shotgun shells. And that's just not pretty, MakerBot CEO Brie Pettis joked to public radio international program Living on Earth. Pettis explains that he created 3D printed hermit crab shells for his crabitat in Brooklyn. Whether the orange Lego residing hermit crab was the victim of the housing crisis isn't clear.